Hello everyone, welcome to my first episode of Drawing and Chatting with Zen. Um, I'm pretty much doing these as little episodes of as I try out new things. Recently I saw a, a video of not using boxes or uh, ovals to lay out your structures. It said to use triangles. Didn't really go into detail as to how. It was doing like quick little demonstrations. I am a very technical drawer and I usually need stuff broken down for me. Like as to the how, like I need to understand how other people see it and it being demonstrated and my mind clicks where I've always been very technical when it comes to drawing like a lot of people can stare at something and see the breakdown and a lot of the times I personally have to break it down which I'm doing here is like trying out these triangle shapes with this video and trying to see where do the triangle shapes fit like how would I use those triangle shapes to lay out and honestly, it's an interesting study to do. And I think I'm going to try and do these more of just looking at pictures and seeing where do those triangle shapes kind of like sit on the body? Like where do they naturally kind of occur in a sense? Because it, it kind of helps me think a little bit more of the organic shapes of the body. Um, it's really, really rough because like I said, um, the video I watched didn't really go into detail as to how they decide like like how not how they decide but how they perceive those shapes and lay them down and for me it's i guess it's a little silly considering you know like i've been drawing since oh gosh third grade but i never really got instruction on a lot of stuff a lot of the things i've learned i've learned through trial and error which i'm sure is the same with a lot of artists who are self-taught and I did go to school for drawing um, I actually got an associates in studio art and there were things there that I learned I started to understand color theory a bit more but the degree was never for anything career right Ca career wise it was it was more for my satisfaction I said I wanted a degree in art I got a degree in art um, so it was more of a personal goal not really a career goal so pretty much I'm taking techniques. I'm always still learning. I'm always trying to find different things that help my, I guess my technical type of drawing mind learn. And uh, I know my weaknesses are a lot like I need to do more live studies. I need to do, you know, more studies in general. And, and it's not a bad thing. I, the way I perceive art is it's something that's always going to be a skill that you will continue to add knowledge to you know it's always going to be something that you know like hey I didn't know I could draw it this way or I could draw it that way I think there's no right way to do art I think there's a lot of foundation and technical stuff that you can learn first so that way you have that correct foundation because you always want to learn the foundations of any type of thing that you go into. Learn the rules so that you know how to break the rules. And I never fully understood that, you know, and I never fully understood like how those, like how to apply those rules, I guess correctly would be kind of a good way of putting it. And then learning how to break them. I think I was always kind of breaking them without learning them first. And I kind of did it in a reverse of things. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm still kind of fighting off a cold right now but for the most part I kind of do really like this technique of triangles because what I think it helps out a lot with is finding those um, natural curves to the body like the muscles the hips um, even the chest area can have it and see like this me redoing the hips here is just me realizing oh I didn't face them the right way like if they were actual hips and a lot of times that's kind of where my brain goes is I don't realize in a sense I kind of reverse things as I'm drawing and then I'm like wait 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 it's supposed to go this way not that way um and then here like I adjust the shoulder because I realized I was following the collarbone line and not actually the shoulder line so that's kind of uh, a thing with me is sometimes I don't see the overall shape I see like a I guess like I see a line somewhere else and I follow that 
and this is kind of why I like this triangle um, technique because it is making me rethink the shapes and then it was also very frustrating so, so it but the frustration's good I think I think when you get frustrated with art in the right sense it's your brain trying to readjust to something new your brain's trying to figure it out and you may not have all the pieces and all the knowledge on how to figure it out you're just kind of going and you know like hey maybe it's this way maybe it's that way kind of thing and that's kind of the like my frustration when I'm learning new things is all like it's not what I'm used to I have to go back to the other stuff but I think honestly it's it's something to consider like is it is it perfect no i haven't gotten this technique down it's not perfect at all is it useful honestly i believe so it's something that i can use to improve my art and to reevaluate how i sketch and how i do quick drawings because my weakest point with art and i will always say it's my weakest point no matter how good i get at something no matter how bad i'm at something else I truly believe my weakest point is I overwork a piece or I overthink a piece because that's not something I necessarily can improve with techniques and with knowledge. Me overworking a piece or overthinking a piece and putting down line after line after layer after layer over color over color will never be fixed until I personally can get past that mentality of I need to do this or needs that and with these kind of text techniques where it's getting it down doing it fast doing it just so that it's done forces me to not focus on perfection you know better done than perfect in a sense and and also it expands my mind you know like you're gonna see here I did absolutely awful here because I don't know how to apply this technique I don't see the body in shapes of triangles and that's that's just simply because I've gone most of my life drawing with round shapes round maybe blocky shapes but honestly I feel it in the shapes for the arms and the legs I can see how it's beneficial there and you know here I'm just going over it I'm like where are these shapes where are these triangular shapes that I'm not seeing but other people can see and you know and I think slowly my mind is seeing it like it's there like oh it's there and then there's the hips you know kind of thing it's a technique that really made me stop and think about how do I perceive the shapes of a body you know and it's kind of embarrassing to show like, oh, this is like me just drawing raw and it's kind of like not really good. But in the sense, like we all start there, whether you're a professional or whether you're a beginner in any type of thing, you're always going to start bad. And I like that I did this because, again, it challenged my mind to look at things differently. It challenged me to say, hey, <coughs> sorry, it challenged me to go, hey, where can I incorporate these triangles along with the round shapes that I'm used to? Where can I see that? You know, and I saw it in the hands in the arms, in the legs, you know, I can see it a little bit more in the hip area. Is it something where I'm going to be doing triangles all the time? I don't know. I want to keep using it and I want to keep doing studies like these to see where my mind goes, to see how I develop it and how it changes how I lay down art, you know? And, and the thing is, is like, I think that I personally am not a professional. I'm an artist, but I'm not a professional artist. I'm not in the industry. I'm not doing anything. There are things that lined up and I didn't go in that direction because I just didn't have the means and I didn't have the social freedom to do so. But I still want 
to continue to grow the skill, to continue to push forward to where someday I can sell my art. Is it going to be a career? I don't know. That's a hard thing to say in the in the time that we live, if I can make a career out of art. A lot of people believe that I can. A lot of people in my life, I mean, believe in me and being able to do that. Realistically, I don't know. You know, I wouldn't have said five years ago I knew where I was. I never have been able to answer those questions. I know where I want to go. I know that continuing to learn new techniques and pushing my knowledge and my skill set is what I want to do. Will that take me where I want to be? I honestly don't know. I didn't draw for 10 years after high school. You know, I graduated in 2007. For a little over 10 years, I did not draw. Even though I was going to school for uh, the studio art degree, I didn't consider it drawing. I considered it assignments. I wasn't drawing to necessarily facilitate my own skill set. I wasn't drawing to be a better artist. I wasn't drawing for a goal. I was drawing for a grade to pass in college so I could get the degree. It wasn't something I was looking to grow as an artist. I was looking to pass my classes. And that's why I say for 10 years, I didn't artistically grow because I didn't draw artistically. I didn't put that effort in. And there were just things, things that were happening, things that I honestly, I needed that 10 years to get to a better place, to find a better community, to have confidence in my own art again, to want to draw again. And I think that's kind of just the way things are at times. And you know, I'm doing these new techniques because I always will feel that I'm a little bit behind my peers, you know, but that's not necessarily true. That's how I personally perceive it, but that's not true. You know, there could be someone who's 50 years old right now, picking up a pencil for the first time and, you know, expanding that skill that they had when they were a 15 year old or a six year old, you know, and saying, you know what, I have the time now. And that's the beautiful thing with picking up any type of skill, is that it's never too late. It's never the wrong time. You know, I don't understand this triangle technique, you know, but that's a me thing. I don't put it on the person that did the video because my brain just works differently, you know? But, you know, I, I, I find this satisfaction and knowing that even though I've been drawing since third grade, since I was like seven, eight, however old you are in third grade, that I still want to expand my knowledge. There is this weird satisfaction in knowing that I don't know everything when it comes to art. I don't know how to do really great foreshortening. I don't have a strong strength and backgrounds you know there are things that I'm constantly learning and for me that's an adventure of itself is to always be learning with art 